hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this particular problem in this problem it is said that determine the vertical clamping force at e in terms of the force p applied to the handle of the toggle clamp right so we have to determine the force uh, the force that this toggle clamp applies at this point e in terms of the external force that is applied to this handle right so when we apply force p to this handle so what will happen is that uh, this handle will try to lift uh, this ade uh, part of this uh, toggle clamp right so and with that uh, this handle will also tend to push this uh, ade in the downward direction right so what will happen is that this when we apply this force p so this handle will apply the force on this ade member in this direction right like this let me represent that force right so this force will uh, let's say that this force is d similarly this d will have one another component dx component the resultant of this dx and dy will be acting like this right in order to clip this tog toggle clamp in the closed position right so what will happen is that uh, this ade member will apply the force on this handle in the opposite direction right so this will be the direction of that ede member on this handle so if we consider this handle as a free body diagram for our analysis so we have to consider the force of ade on this handle right so that ade member will apply the force on this handle in this direction right so it will have two components right so we will have uh, dx like this and we will have one other component which will be dy like this right and let me remove this since we have represented represented this resultant by its components right so we can write that this will be dy and this is dx right and if if this ade member will apply the force on this handle in this direction so this bc link will apply the force uh, from b to c in order to keep this handle in its position right so we will have that uh, fbc on in this direction right so let's say this is that fbc force so this is that fbc force here we have that point c and here we have that point d and here the external force p will be applied like this now here we can find the angle of this fbc with the horizontal we can find this angle theta right by using these dimensions right so as we can see that we are given uh, this triangle let me draw that triangle here we are given this triangle right so the dimensions of this triangle are given right so if you want to find uh, this theta right so then this theta and this theta will be equal right so if we consider this triangle right like this if we have this triangle right so if you want to find this theta so this theta and this theta will be equal right so to find this theta we can apply tan theta right so if i apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to so this length is 12 this is given right so the perpendicular is 12 and the base is 12 you people can see right so tan if this will be equal to 1 so if we take tan inverse 1 so that will give us the angle equal to 45 degrees so this means that this bc link is making 45 degrees in the given position right so now we can resolve this fbc into its components as well right so if i resolve uh, fbc into its components so it will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this so this one will be the cos component and it will have one another component which will be acting like this so this one will be the sine component and this is that same theta right so this will be f bc cos of 45 degrees and this one will be f bc sine of 45 degrees so now if we apply the summation of moment about point d equals to zero and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so as we can see that uh, this p force is producing the clockwise moment about that point d so i will write minus p and the perpendicular distance of this p force from that point d is this 160 mm so i will multiply this with 160 
right so this is 160 times p similarly this cos component is producing uh, the clockwise moment about that point d so i will write minus f b c cos of 45 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component if i draw that cos component here so the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point d is this 5 mm right so i will multiply this with 5 and similarly um, this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point d so i will write plus and this is uh, f b c sine of 45 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point d is this 16 mm distance right if i draw that sine component here so this is the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point d which is 16 mm so i will multiply this with 16 and this will be equal to 0 and if i take this p term to the other side of equation so it will become positive right so we will have p into 160 I can take F B C common from these two terms, right? So we will have this equation like this. And if I take minus F B C common, so then this will become negative, right? Let me write it as negative, right? Minus 7.78, .78, right? So I will write minus 7.78. .78. So minus 7.78 .78 into minus will become plus, right? So 7.78 F B C. And this is equal to p into 160 right so we can find fbc in terms of p right so 160 divided by 160 divided by 7.78 so fbc is equal to 20.57 now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so as we can see that this dx is acting in the positive x direction so i will write dx and this fbc uh, this cost component is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus and fbc magnitude is 20.57 cos of 45 and this will be equal to zero right so from this we can find this dx so dx will be equal to the cost component of that fbc so we can write that this will be 20.57 cos of 45 degrees and this is equal to 14.55 14.55 newton similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so that will give us that dy so dy is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus dy Similarly, this sine component is acting in the positive y direction, so I will write plus, and this is FBC sine of 45, so I will write 20.57 sine of 45 degrees. And similarly, that P is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus P, and this will be equal to 0. So from this equation, we can write that uh, we can bring this dy to the other side of equation, right? So we will be left with this minus p so this will be equal to dy so if we consider uh, this ade as a free body diagram and we analyze this for equilibrium right so here at this point e this work piece will apply the force e in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction right so we will have that e force which will be acting in the positive y direction so let's say this is that e force and here at this point d we will have that uh, dx and dy in the opposite direction right so we will have that dx in the in this direction and we will have that dy which will be acting in the positive y direction like this right and this is that point a so at this point a we will also have some reaction forces so let's say this is ax and let's say that this is a y right so now if we consider this uh, member are part of this toggle claim uh, which is known as ADE so if I apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0 and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so as we can see that uh, this DX is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point A so I will write DX and DX magnitude is known which is 14.55 and the perpendicular distance of this dx from this point a 
is given right so that distance will be 12 mm right so i will multiply this with 12 and as we can see that this dy is passing through that point a so it will not produce the moment about that point a right and as we can see that this e force the clamping force is producing the moment about this point a in the clockwise direction so i will write minus e and the perpendicular distance of this clamping force from that point a is this 80 mm so i will multiply this with 80 and this is equal to zero or we can say that ate equals to this thing right so here i forgot to write uh, 20.57 p this is in terms of p right remember so if this is in terms of p so then this is also in terms of p and this dx is also in terms of p remember right and similarly uh, this is also in terms of p remember right so now uh, this dx is in terms of p so we have to write p here right so then we can find this e in terms of p right so this will be e so 14.55 into p into 12 divided by 80 right so i will write this is 14.55 into 12 divided by 80 so this gives us e equals to 2.18 p right so e equals to 2.18 p so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution